You found it. Your home for the best content on your favorite team, the Fighting Tigers of LSU. Do us a favor, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments below, and be sure to smash that like button. Brian Kelly met with reporters on Monday, and uh, we all watched the play on Saturday night as John Emery had a just a, oh man, the first cut when he put his foot in the ground was all the flashes of potential and promise that made John Emery a five-star and the number one running back in the country. And the second cut as he was heading toward the goal line is when he buckled. And I think we all had the same thought, and Brian Kelly on Monday confirmed what our worst fear was. John Emery has um, uh, an ACL tear, so we'll lose him for the season. And that effectively ends John Emery's career uh, at LSU. So Emery came in um, in 2019 as a five-star and the number one running back in the country. And during that championship season, he played in, in 10 games and had just 39 carries for 188 yards, did score four times. A lot of that was mop-up duty. Uh, of course, 2020 was the COVID year, which was sort of a, a free year for, for everybody. Um, and... In 2021 was, of course, the year John Emery was suspended for academic violations, uh, which which take which counts as a, a year of, of eligibility. And then he he of course returned uh, in 2022 when he didn't have to. It's one of the things about John Emery. I'll pretty consistently say in his defense is John Emery after missing the 2021 season could have left. He was three years removed from high school. And he could have said, you know what? I'm just going to go try to make an NFL roster. Talented enough to do it. Let's see, let's see if I can get in the camp and go make a team. But instead, he came back to school last year. And coming back to school last year, he was still suspended for the first two games of the season. He ends up playing in 11 games. Started only twice. He ran for 375 yards and six touchdowns. It was a reception, however, that is the play he'll probably be most known for in his time at LSU, which was the wheel route against Alabama where he put his foot in the ground on the sideline, cut back in, and scored. Uh, that just sent everybody in Tiger Stadium outside of their minds, and it was a bonkers moment, a great play. And that was one of his, uh, his two receiving touchdowns a year ago. So after last year, after 2022, his fourth year out of, out of high school, his fourth year, and having missed the first couple of games due to academic violation, missing the entire previous season, everyone would have been completely on board and understanding if John Emery at that point had decided, you know what, it's it's been a long journey. Went through you know, the 2019 season as a backup, the COVID year, which was we all know we'd love to forget, being suspended academically for 2021, missing the entire season. Instead of going pro, electing to come back, missing the first couple of games, having a, a season where you win 10 games and you win the SEC West and you get to play in the SEC Championship, everyone would have understood if, if, if John Emery at that moment had decided to go pro. And he said, you know what, I'm going to come back for a fifth season. A fifth season. And misses the first two games again because of academic issues but perseveres through it, keeps pushing toward getting his college degree, and now here in November of his, of his what we all presume will be his final season here in Baton Rouge, um, John Emery um, tears his ACL. You're, just, you're gutted for him. I would think we all knew it at the moment when it happened. It's a guy that could be finishing up his second NFL season. Or it could be in the midst of his second NFL season. But instead, he's, he's persevered and he's come back. And, and I know there's a lot of people who marry themselves to recruiting rankings and know he was a five-star and had grand expectations because of those recruiting rankings. And rankings be damned, and I say it all the time. It ain't the kid's fault that he was a five-star. The recruiting services made him a five-star. And for all I ever heard about John Emery, I don't know that I ever heard John Emery pound his own chest about being a five-star. That's expectation that people who do scouting and evaluation put on him and that fans bought. All John Emery's done is battle through his own personal issues and persevere to be able to wear the purple and gold, and now it's five years removed. Nobody ever would have thought, certainly John Emery, that he'd spent five seasons, five years in college. And despite multiple suspensions, all the... I mean, think about how much of a pain in the ass college is for people. They, I, I want you to think about this right now. 
you never played a down of football in your life. I don't even care. It doesn't matter. And maybe you didn't even go to college. That's okay if you didn't. There's a lot of people listening to me right now who are nodding their head, who know, who know school was a pain in the ass. School was hard for a lot. Some people, it's natural. For some people, school's hard. And John Emery, two years ago, could have hit the eject button and gone to the NFL, and he didn't. And I respect that, man. I respect that tremendously. Could have left last year, decided to come back. I hate that it ends like this for John Emery. Of course, everyone gets the free year for the COVID year, but John Emery, but but the 2021 season, he doesn't get back. He was suspended for that season. It's a year of eligibility removed. So really it's the 19, 21, 22, and 23 season. So those are four seasons that he's he's used his eligibility. So he's, his time at LSU is done. And... Uh, um. I wish it would have ended better for him. You know? With the old cliche, life ain't fair. So, for whatever is next for John Emery, everybody should have his respect and should be pulling for him at the next level. Because um, he could have been gone a long time ago, and I would have understood that too. In the meantime, uh, Brian Kelly did give an update on Logan Diggs, who missed the game uh, with, uh, an, as it was termed, an upper body injury. Uh, here was the update on Logan Diggs. We'll see where Logan Diggs is. Obviously, he didn't play last week. We think he's better. Um, today, obviously, is our day off. Um, not day off, but uh, we'll just be in the weight room today uh, with meetings. We'll go out tomorrow, and, and we'll get a better sense um, you know, as to where he is. He would be the only other. Tomorrow, of course, being Tuesday today. Um, there's no, no sense in running Logan Diggs out there against Georgia State. It's a great opportunity to get Josh Williams a lot of run, to let Noah Kane get out there and get a bunch of carries. Two seniors who have waited their turn patiently, and then maybe get Caleb Jackson and Trey Holly some work. It's a it's a great opportunity to get some guys a lot of playing time that, that have earned the opportunity. So no reason to play Logan Diggs this week. Just have him ready to go for Texas A&M. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact, and be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.